This is the instructional video on how to assemble a DDT 540 and 560 tilt mechanism. Both the 540 and the 560 are basically the same, same system except the 540 is narrower than the 560. So this instructional video will cover both of them. Uh, basically we're just going to be showing uh, assembly of a 560 system but both the, but the 540 system uh, goes together uh, the exact same way. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to grab the uh, two ABS uh, plates that look like this. I'm going to go ahead and grab some 632 screws here and put them right in the middle. We're going to grab these are the these are 3 8 inch long. I'm going to grab the 585 470. These are some small little mounts. There'll be two of these. I'm going to go ahead and screw these in. And once, once this is assembled, once you actually have the full tilt system assembled, you can actually shift these, um, these little mounts um, to various holes depending on your camera and where your camera mount is actually located. So go ahead and grab the second one here. Put these right in the middle like so. Screw these in here. I said you want to use a 632 by 3 8 inch long screws here. As you can see, and that's how those plates actually need to be, be mounted or little mounts. Those are the 585 470s. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and actually grab the camera mount. Um, you can see here, once, once this is put on as well, once these mounts on, you've a lot of different options here, different, different mounting um, ways you can do this. But just to start out, what you want to do is mount in the center holes here. We're going to grab actually our 632 countersunk screws. Go directly in here. Just like so. Grab another one here. We're not going to tighten this all, all the way quite yet. So we're going to go ahead and mount the, net, the other plate on. Line those holes up. Not quite, don't quite tighten these down yet until we get all four of them in. Now we can go ahead and tighten, tighten these down. There we go. So that's how your system should look up to this point. Next what we're going to do is we're going to actually mount the ball bearing shaft system here. And actually the kit's going to come with four standoffs here. You actually want to grab the shorter standoff and basically it's the only standoff that is tapped in one end and not in the other. So set that off to the side. Next we're going to grab, you've got two uh, hub mounts here. Actually, just you're going to use one of them. Next, we're going to grab the center hole adapters, or two of these. Those are going to snap right in on one on one side and one on the other. Next, we're going to grab the 632 by half inch long screw. It's going to go directly through the center, just like so. Gonna grab the standoff, put that on, just like so, and we're going to tighten this down. There you go. So next what we're going to do is we're actually going to mount this in. So it doesn't matter which side. You can change it later on if you need to. You grab some more 632 by 3 8 inch long screws. And depending on your camera lens where that's at, um, you can actually shift these down, you know, depending on, on your camera. We're going to go ahead and mount them up high, the lowest, to mount the cradle in the lowest section. Go ahead and put that in. Line this one up. Once again, we're not going to tighten the screws all the way until we get all four of them in. There we go. Last one here. And now we can go ahead and tighten them all. There we go, and that's what it should look like so far. Next, we're going to go ahead and grab the servo horn, and this will, your kit will either be for Futaba or high tech. 
And we're going to grab the second uh, hub mount here. We're going to go ahead and bolt this to the hub mount. Once again, we're going to grab 632 by 3 8 inch screws. We're going to go directly through the hub. So don't, don't screw it into the mount, but we're going to go directly through. So use the four holes that are through holes. Bolt this in. So, once again, don't tighten the screws all the way up quite yet. There you go. Now we're going to go ahead and tighten these up. There we go. Now we're going to mount this on the op opposite side of the one that we just mounted. So, and we actually want the servo spline section pointing out just like so. And some more 632 by 3 8 inch screws. And once everything is together, everything is fully adjustable, of course, so you don't have to plan out how your camera is going to mount in quite yet, so, or whatever device you decide to put in here. I'm going to go ahead and tighten all four of these down now. And there you go. There is the tilt mechanism. And in the next video, we'll actually show the outer cradle and how that goes together.